and then there's us, the Boers. We don't take part in this, and we're not going to. And we're not going to go away. And we're the rightful owners of this land. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> wow! Did he actually say that? Unbelievable! Guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new here. This is going to be an action-packed episode. So watch this video, come back, and we will discuss it. There's a, 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 a certain amount of people which wants to create the nation of unity. And then there's us, the Boers. We don't take part in this, and we're not going to. And we're not going to go away. And we're the rightful owners of this land. <laughs> so, uh, well, so that doesn't mean we doesn't see the sunshine over other people. Okay, if you go back in history, you would actually see that the Boers have negotiated with the tribal chiefs and the kings, and we we have. We have uh, see them as equal, and we have uh, give them their their uh, peace. Okay. Uh, now, now carry on. We can hear you. If we want to uh, share one country, we must first accept the realities. Help me understand something. If we're gonna live in the same country. But you don't want unity. How do we do it? We, we never wanted unity. No, no, no. I, I, I accept what you're saying. Okay. I accept that. That's what you said. Yes. What I'm saying is, then how do we live in one country? Oh, that's very easy. Okay. We can uh, live in this country happily if we have proper borders. So if, if the Boers have their land, mm -hmm. and the Tswanas have their land, and the Zulus have their land, we do not want to mix leave Jobik for the cosmopolitans and all this uh, type uh -huh. like, like... Sounds like a party, <laughs> yeah, Properly, yes. Wow, this is unacceptable. Our oppressors saying that they are the rightful owners of South Africa is such an insult to the pe countless black people that were slaughtered and were treated like cattle and were not seen as people but as tools this is an insult like why would he say something like this i mean the audacity of this man to say that this to say this in south africa knowing very well that the history of apartheid in this country him saying this in a country that belongs to africans is crazy to me like the audacity, right? A country that was not so long ago oppressed, right? Apartheid, you don't have to look much further to see apartheid uh, was still taking place, blah, blah. And I would argue till this day, there is still racial segregation in South Africa. If you live in South Africa, you know this very well. Many people that I know, especially our grandparents to this day, are still scarred for life because of apartheid and what happened. There is still segregation, obviously. And till this day, despite the so-called unity after apartheid, this man openly rejected any unity with black people in South Africa, in the borders of South Africa, and says that South Africa belongs to white people and that this is their land. How crazy is that? This shows you, I would argue, how nice Africans are. Because if this situation were turned around, vice versa, if the Boers were the ones and in control and then black people were saying this, I do not imagine them letting this slide. Like, Africans are genuinely good people. Like, genuinely. You see it. Or is it maybe weakness? Maybe we're, we're not nice people. Maybe South Africans are just weak. Because this is how can he, he be let free for saying something like this? This shows you that this person in particular, I'm not going to generalize. I'm going to try my best to not, to not generalize. This shows you that this person in particular 
does not feel sorry at all. He does not feel sorry. And you have to ask yourself that if this is how this person and his cohort feel, can you imagine what has been discussed in a settlement of Orania? I recently did a video covering Orania and I said that it is racist. I tremendously and utterly believe that. I know they try to hide under the guise of saying that they're not racist. They're trying to quote unquote uh, preserve their culture. No, that is an extreme approach to quote unquote preserve your culture. That is if you believe that BS, which I don't. Orania, I would argue, is racist. And if you do not know what Orania is, I'll give you the brief summary. It is a town in South Africa where only white people are allowed. By definition, that is racist, I would argue. They say they built Orania to preserve their culture. What culture? In what country? Right? What culture to preserve? What The Boers do not have a nice history, as far as I'm concerned, in this country. Because they colonized us, right? So when they say they want to preserve their culture, preserve what? I would argue that they will try. Because imagine this white man that's saying that he does not want any unity with black people. I would imagine he's the ideal candidate to be a resident in Orania. And I will not lie, I am stating it yet again. I believe Orania is racist. I do not buy whatever it is they're trying to sell to us. I can imagine a child living there in Orania and is around people like this, saying that they do not want any unity with black people. How will growing in a whites only town not lead to racism, not lead that child believing that their race is superior, not, not lead that child into believing that black people or looking at them with disdain how will them living in orania not facilitate in that how will them living in orania not facilitate in racism this is crazy i'm in a private university i know a lot of white people and they teach me right and some of them are my lectures they're just genuinely wonderful people but you have to look at this from the outside looking in. People are going to generalize, unfortunately. They're going to say all white people are like this. All white people are racist, which is not true, right? So this, this person is just basically, this is despicable. I don't know how else to say it. I, I feel like I've said my two cents on this racism, racism stuff. This is despicable. And unfortunately, it is a never-ending cycle. But what that white person literally said in that panel was incredibly offensive. Unacceptable. So, so guys, tell me what you think about that. Am I wrong? Like, dislike anything? And I'll see you guys in another video.